A bias test kept thousands of black patients from getting a kidney transplant, but that's now changing. NBC's Antonia Hilton reports. It's time I'm in the hospital getting ready for my transplant. When PhD student Jasmine Evans finally got the call that she would receive a kidney transplant in July, she was overjoyed. I'm getting a whole kidney, so. Evans was first diagnosed with chronic kidney disease when she was just 17 years old and was put on the transplant list in 2019. She thought she was still years away from being matched with a donor until a letter from her hospital came in the mail last year explaining she should have been added to the transplant list in 2015, four years earlier, and that a racially biased test was to blame. When you got that letter, what went through your mind? At first, I was outraged, and just the fact that no one really knew that this was something that was going on, um, it was really jarring and shocking. Evans is one of thousands of black patients who have been prioritized for transplants as a result of a national mandate by the Organ Procurement and Transplantation Network, or OPTN. The new rule, which was instituted in 2022, instructs hospitals to stop using a test that overestimated how well black people's kidneys were functioning. In the 1990s, there was a big study when the, the black participants in this research studies, creatinines and kidney function were looked at. For some reason, they had slightly higher amounts of kidney function for the same level blood test. And instead of investigating sort of why that might be, the conclusion was that it was based on race. That flawed test, meaning thousands of patients were put on the transplant list years later than they should have been, a potentially deadly wait. For some people, those extra years waiting actually contribute to their either being too sick to get a transplant or um, their premature death. Patients like Evans who were misevaluated have been bumped up on the list, with the average patient getting transplants one to two years sooner than expected. But for Evans, who calls herself a reluctant kidney advocate, the fight is not over. What do you believe this represents for thousands of black patients like you? I think it represents hope. It represents reconciling in a lot of ways. But I also see that the fight is not over yet. There are thousands of black Americans that are still waiting for organ donations across the board. Our thanks to Antonia Hilton for that report. And according to Dr. Pavlakis, change takes time. Some labs are still using the old race-based formula. So doctors need to keep an eye out for their new patients and make sure they are getting the care they deserve. Well, coming up 